Hello and welcome to this Come to Jesus Daily devotional. I trust you are well. And this week we continue in Luke, reflecting this week on Jesus' teaching from Luke 6, 46 to 49, where he speaks about building our lives on the foundation of the rock of his teaching if we are to stand in the various storms that we're going to face. So let's read from Luke 6, 46 to 49. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not do what I say? As for everyone who comes to me and hears my words and puts them into practice, I will show you what they are like. They're like a man building a house who dug down deep and laid the foundation on rock. When a flood came, the torrent struck that house but could not shake it because it was well built. But the one who hears my words and does not put them into practice is like a man who built a house on the ground without a foundation. The moment the torrent struck that house, it collapsed and its destruction was complete. Today's lesson. The first act of obedience and the first foundation on which we we build is to put our faith in the gospel for our salvation. Let's say that again. The first act of obedience and the first foundation on which we build is to put our faith in the gospel for our salvation. It's easy, isn't it, to read a text like this and immediately jump to a sense of guilt, maybe, and that I need to earn God's love and that I'm failing in so many ways and we can fear that our lives are going to collapse in the storm because we're not fully obeying Christ. I mean, who after all is fully obeying Christ, right? What jumps into your mind when you hear Jesus' challenge, why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not do what I say? What jumps into your mind? I guess it it may be my impurity, my my lack of prayer. I look at so many other people who are doing so much and I'm just doing so little. And if you knew what was going on in my mind, we feel like we're, we're failing maybe. What's assaulting your mind at the moment? What jumps to your mind when you hear those words, why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not do what I say? What jumps into your mind? I'm sure something does. Whilst not wanting to rob this text of its true call to us to obey Jesus, we are to obey him, we are to listen to him, we are to do righteous things. But firstly, I want us to see that we need to do what he says in regard to trusting him alone for salvation and the gift of righteousness. This storm is many things. What is this storm that this refers to? Well, one of the things it definitely speaks about is the day of judgment. I mean, we can think it's about losing my job or losing this or not this not happening or, or sickness or whatever. And these things, I'm not saying they're not those. But judgment, what about the day of judgment? This is definitely a massive aspect of this. And in the day of judgment, what is the foundation on which I'm going to stand and be saved? It's not going to certainly be because I prayed enough or I witnessed enough, is it? It's because I trusted in Christ. He died for me. He died for my sin. He took away my sin. That's my first act of obedience. The first act of obedience is faith in him, plain and simple. These words of our Lord put it so well in John 6, 29. Then they asked him, what must we do to do the works God requires? Jesus answered, the work of God is this, to believe in the one he has sent. So in response, the first act of obedience And the first foundation on which we build is to put our faith in the gospel for our salvation. Are we doing what the Lord says and building our lives on his death and resurrection for our justification, acceptance 
and a sure and certain promise of standing in the storm of judgment. As a response, why not listen to that amazing song, Cornerstone? Its lyrics and its truth speak so clearly of this building on the foundation of Jesus Christ. So the link is in the blog. So why don't you sing that now? God bless you.